Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we are once again reorganizing my collection. I decided to move to A5 binders. These are really great. Um, I've done a lot of research on them before I decided to fully switch. So I have five of these A5 binders from the brand After the Rain. They're a Korean based stationary goods store. I got my A5 binders from Naver, Naver, which does not ship worldwide, so I had to use epoxy, and the epoxy that I used is all that sales. So I got the binder with the refill pages already included, and I got this during their sale, so I believe I paid five or six dollars per binder instead of eight dollars. Um, which is a really good deal. Each binder comes with, of course, the A5 binder, and then 25 of the four pocket bi binder pages, and then the five, five of the one pocket binder page. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, I got this from a Korean site, but I know Mochi Things, Durunaru on Etsy, and Uri Chingu, which is a US-based stationery store, also sells them. I will link them down below if they are available in case you wanna pick some up. So if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I am an avid user of the Dragon Shield Clear Classic card sleeves. However, they do not fit the pockets of the A5 binder. So I did have to pick up the Japanese size Dragon Shield card sleeves and I, Bought clear and clear classic and clear matte. Both both work just well. I use the matte ones for pre-order benefits or other special cards. And then I use the white classic, or I'm gonna use the white classic for filler cards. Sorry if that was not in focus. And then for the cover, I put them two together, but I got these from Mochi Things. I bought two colors of this checkered plaid pattern no this is checkered um pattern one and i got it in cool pink and sky blue this is the rdm series brand and they are supposed to be a five binder refills so each one comes with 32 pages so i already pre-sleeved everything into the regular dragon shield card sleeves or not regular the japanese size card sleeves so i won't have to do those on camera and then I did choose the covers for them. I will be using the Carrot Membership Kit uh, photo cards for the front cover. And then for the boys, I'm going to be using these replica cards that I got. Um, these are not the real deal. That's why I'm using them as the cover. Um, they look pretty great and they match well. So those are what I'm going to be using. And then I believe for 17, I'll be using the cool pink ones. And then for the boys, the sky blue ones. There's that backside. And I'm also going to take off this little thing here because we're not going to need that. I don't like this black band. Um, okay, that should be good. I know for a fact that I won't be needing all 25 pages that it comes with. But I do have... A fat stack of Joan cards, and for the first page, I have this. So I did already decide how I want to organize this. Should I zoom in a little? Yeah, there you go. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it already. I actually planned this out before even buying the binder because I don't want to spend all that money only to not like it. And yeah, I downsized my OT1317 collection recently, which is why this is, ooh, okay, which is why, like, I actually made this decision. Um, this is where I run into an issue, though. These two cards for going 17, I can't fit all five in one page, so it's going to have to be double-sided. And I'm sorry, Wanu, you're going to have to be in the back because I want it in, like, age order, if that makes any sense. Let me just move these down. Um, Going 17 has one of my favorite photo cards ever just because they're, like, ridiculously ugly, but, like, they're also cute. 
and I talked about this before, how I wanted to collect all 13 members for this era, but I ended up not doing that because I am still a little bit sane. So let's see, let me just make sure everything is separated. And then for AL1, normally it wouldn't work out, but I do have the vocal team photo cards. So that works out quite well for me. Um, I have no specific order for this. I just want to put them in one page and it looks really great in my opinion. It messes up this entire thing though, but it's fine. And then we have AL1, no, this is Teenage. We have Teenage. Um, I'm so glad to have these cards. I know that a lot of people struggle to find these two, I'm pretty sure, but when I started collecting, the market was still kind of filled with these cards, except for this one. I took it that on Mercari Japan. Okay. Anyway, so we have that page. Also, if you're thinking of switching to A5 binders, I suggest like doing your research on them and like what fits and what doesn't. Because I know a lot of people have a hard time when they receive this. They're like, oh my god, my sleeves. Okay, that's not going to work. So by the way, the sleeves that I'm using for this, because this card is way too big for the Dragon Shield clear classic card sleeve, or the Dragon Shield Japanese size card sleeves, I'm using the Cam C Perfect Fits, which also fit in here perfectly. Um, however, it's kind of thin, so I decided to opt for Dragon Shield. Um, yeah, and I'm also very happy that director Director's Cut fits in here nicely. So there you go. We have that. And then we have You Make My Day, which is going to have to overflow to the next page because there's six cards total. And then it'll fit perfectly with You Made My Dawn because of the fact that there will be 12 total, 12 cards total. There you go. Also, if you're wondering why I'm cutting off a lot, currently it's really hot and loud in my house and I can't seem to film this properly, which is kind of like really irritating because I just want to get this up and done, but people in my house. Okay, there, perfect. And then let me separate these so that it's easier to turn the pages. They're kind of connected or like stuck together. Okay, so moving on to the last page for You Make My Day. Oh god. I really actually like these binder pages. I bought Amifa ones, the brand Amifa that you can get from like Mercari Japan because they fit standard size card sleeves. So my Dragon Shield standard size sleeves. However, I decided to just use these because I feel like I'm being wasteful. And I mean, they fit fine. They look really great and they fit with the binder quite well. So I think I'm just going to stick with these. And now we have an ode, which is also the determining factor as to why I decided to switch to this. I like that the Ode set of cards will kind of fit in here nicely because there's four cards per version. And I really like that. See, everything looks great. And here is one of my favorite photo card sets for Seventeen. It's an Ode the Poet. I know a lot of people like an Ode Hope because of the beret PCs, but I think these are also like top tier in terms of quality. Um, like the colored back cards. Oof. I collected OT13 for this and I'm actually done. I didn't film it though. I just put it in because I recently dropped my collection. Um, and then following that is an Ode Hope. Speaking of the devil. Yes, there you go. I'm really excited for this. I think this will fit my Dawn collection pretty nicely. And I don't think I need to migrate to a bigger binder anytime soon because I feel like this binder would be enough. 
for the cards. Um, let's see. If you hear like a dog barking, oh, it's our neighbor's dog, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll just try to mute it in the back. Hopefully I can edit it out, but we'll see. Okay. This one's kind of crooked. This came in kind of crooked, but that is fine. And then this is the last an ode set, which is the real version. Um, Hangare also fits in this binder quite nicely because there's eight cards. So two cards per version and there's four versions. So that works out just well. Okay. I just put it, push it in all the way. Um, I'm gonna need to separate out these two for Hangare. And then right there. Let's see. We have this one. I started collecting 17 during Hengare era, which is left and right era. That is also around the same time I started collecting K pop in general. Well, actually, I started collecting K pop June, like early June or mid June, when um, I graduated from college. And then I just kept going ever since. I've done a lot of collection plan changes, but something that always stayed consistent was my 17 collection until recently when I dropped OT13. And I keep saying that, but like, aren't you guys proud of me? Also, sorry for the random Hangan PC there. But we have Semicolon, which is the last comeback, Korean album comeback thing. They had and I plan to put two of these. I think I'm gonna keep these two here. I wanted to have a full page for semicolon since it's a special album. I didn't collect all of the pre-order benefits for this so I think I'm gonna keep my two favorite ones and there you go. Here is a really quick flip through for Jongan. I actually really love this. This is so pretty. Um, and then I'm going to do the covers and the picture in the front for all the other members off camera. And I will be right back. So I finished putting everyone, everyone's cover and picture all away and taking out the little string. Now it's just time to store the rest of the cards in. I will just be putting music over this one and hopefully if I have anything to say I'll just obviously talk but for now I'm just gonna put music over it because there is a dog barking quite frantically here and I don't want to refilm this later. And by the way before I do anything else, I want to say that I am done with this collection. In fact, let me see if I can pull it out. I have all of these cards that I need to store away and that will be a future storing away photo cards video. So we will see then. <laughs> Alright, and that completes my Vernon collection for now. I'll put away the ones that I'm missing with the empty thoughts um, later in the next video. And yeah, here it goes. I actually really like how this comes out. Um, Vernon's photo cards come out evenly because he only has one unit for going 17. And yeah, I absolutely adore this. Also, how did I end up with an extra? Okay, we're just going to move that 
back here. Um, by the way, so far I'm really liking the quality of these. It doesn't seem too bad. I now totally understand the hype. <laughs> so yeah, we have that. And we can go ahead and move on to my The Boys collection. Which was the hardest for me to find a setup that works. But let's take a look and see how I do it. So for this one, I'll go Hakyun to um, Hyunjae, so youngest to oldest. So that completes it for Hyunjae. I had a few cards for him because I collected Chase pre-order benefits, but I'm actually pretty happy with how this came out. Um, I'm only collecting one of the film strips now just so I can fill this section in. And then I really want to get the MMT PC for Dreamlike, but I know that's like absolutely impossible. And for this, I might just get an extra of these two cards to fill in a page. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how everything looks. And let's go ahead and move on to the Chowman binder. So here is the Chowman binder. And that is my Chongmin collection. I don't have that many cards to put away for him because they are in this little area for now. Um, hopefully my next video I can be a little bit more complete with his collection. But overall I'm pretty happy with what I have. And now let's move on to the last number I collect which is Hyunjae. Last but not the least, we have Hyunjae, and this one 
should be complete soon. I just need to put in the reveal PCs and then the dreamlike cards. And then the two, the start photo cards, which I also already have. And yeah, that is all for this. Let me gather everything in one place and we'll do an outro. That finishes up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you had any questions or concerns go ahead and let me know in the comment section i hope this inspired you a little bit if you were thinking of moving to an a5 binder i hope that you were able to find an organization method that will work the best for you and i will see you in the next video bye